In this video, I'll show you how to use an MQTT client with Cumulosity IoT platform using static templates. Static templates are predefined MQTT messages to ease device integration, which are based on the SmartRest protocol. These comma-separated messages are interconverted with the JSON format of the Cumulosity REST API at the SmartRest endpoint to enable communication between devices and platform. Today, I'll follow the instruction here in the Cumulosity device SDK guide. I have installed MQTTX on my computer. You can also choose other MQTT client tools. The first step is to create a new connection with the required parameters. Give a name for the connection, then generate a random client ID. It will be the external ID of the device created by this MQTT client. For the host, keep the protocol in MQTT and add the URL of your tenant domain after it. The port for non-TLS connection is 1883. The platform also supports TLS connection with port 8883 and protocol MQTTS. Give your credentials to the tenant. The username should include the tenant ID. Choose the right MQTT version. Now you can connect the client with Cumulosity. The next step would be to publish messages to the platform. All the static templates must be sent to the topic S slash US and the payload type is plain text. With the first message, I will create a device using template 100. This message can bring two optional parameters, device name and device type. Publish this message and check the device list on the platform. Click Reload, then you can see the device is created. Now you can send measurements to this device. You can use Template 200 to create a custom measurement. It has three mandatory parameters, fragment, series, and value. Unit and time can also be given. Reload the page. You can check the measurement on the platform. Similarly, you can create alarms for this device. There are four alarm severities. Each of them has its own template. For example, if I want to create a critical alarm, then I need to use template 301 with a type of alarm which is mandatory. Optionally, I can also give a text and a time to the alarm. There are also templates for changing, clearing, or removing the alarms. Now you know how to publish messages to the platform. How about receiving data from the platform? For that, you need to create a new subscription with the responsible topic S slash DS. This topic subscribes to all the static operation templates for this device. The device doesn't have any operation tabs. To add some operations to the device, I'll send a message with template 114. This one can change the list of supported operations. Now I can send a restart command or other kinds of commands to the device. In the MQTT client, you can check the received message for the S slash DS subscription. 510 represents a restart command, and 511 contains a command that needs to be executed. You can find the complete list of static templates in the Cumulosity documentation.